Okay, um, I forgot I was doing a video of, uh, of how to do stuff, so what I've just been doing is a repairing, oh, does that work? Is that any better? Repairing this flushing mechanism. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it apart real quick and show you what I've done. There's a, there's a valve down there. Can you see it? And if you, it's parallel right now, and if you turn it perpendicular, that turns the water off. So first step, turn the water off. Next step is to loosen this piece up. But now when I did this a minute ago, there was loads and loads and loads of uh, lime scale in here. So that's what I've done is clean that off. I cleaned all that off because the button was not going in and out. And that's how it shuts. There's a little, a little rubber diaphragm inside here. I'm not going to take it apart this time. I'll do it next time. But you undo that bit right there with the with your pliers. And you might have to. It took me about 15 minutes to get it ready to do. And be careful. And this will pop out. This can come out. And get out of your way like that. Uh, and then it goes back in. That just kind of makes it makes the water quiet. So it seems to be okay at the moment. I'm just watching the, how high the water level gets. We don't want. We want it about an inch below. Now on this toilet, it only has. I don't know what a liter is. It. I think maybe it's a nine liter flush. So I'll talk to her about putting maybe a six liter flush in there or maybe we'll stick a brick in there or, or something. Uh, if she wants to conserve water, there's things to be done. Now, the loose seat is loose. So underneath on the side there is a couple of, yeah, there's the bolts there. They need to be taken, taken apart. And uh, underneath, you see, underneath here is a screw. So you got to take this apart, get to that screw, tighten the screw up. Uh, I'll, I'll be doing that and then we've got to put some glue in there so that it doesn't come apart now It's getting rusty on this seat here uh, If she wants to we could probably fix that rust this time the seats otherwise in pretty good pretty good shape Okay, well, I think that's we're gonna leave that for a little while and see if it if it does uh, if it doesn't overflow Now this is essential heating and I, I want this to be on right now. I've got it on continuous everything's on I got the thermostat turned up, and it should be actually doing something. So I'm gonna just check the thermostat. I can't. I can't believe how many tools I've brought to do this job here. I've got tools everywhere, everything, but I'm taking time to sort through them, and and stop doing this crazy, crazy stuff. Um, visitors pass. Oh yeah, let's get, let's get the copyright Bearwood Brown. You can use this all you want and unless I decide you can't use it anymore. So that's the line there. Oh yeah, we were just going to check the thermostats. But I want to check. Now what, what we got problems in here is up in this corner, up there, the, the papers come all off. So we're going to take that apart. There's some stains on the ceiling. I've been up in the loft, inspected the loft. Uh, the closet wants painting too. Um, in there, got to reassemble the bed when it comes time. I want the I want the radiators. Oh, I know what it is. In here. Now I've, I've never done this before. First time I've I've um, turned this turned one down quite so far. This one I set it on. It's about 35 right now, so I'm going to put it up to 45. And it just clicked. So now we go back downstairs and see if the um, boiler's kicked on because it was making so much noise. It is it is on now, and it's a lot quieter than it was because I've gone around and, and bled the radiators. I mean, you know how to do that, don't you? Uh, I don't know where my key is at the moment, but we can we can show you what that's all about too. I've checked the tank up in the ceiling, so I'm, I'm, I think that's what it was there. So that's running now. Thirty-five was too low; it wouldn't go on. Okay, so we're gonna pause for a minute. 